Gun Violence Awareness Month begins tomorrow, June 1st, and Mayor Eric Adams is teaming up with other mayors around the state to find solutions to the epidemic, a task that will not be easy. The New York City Police Department says in 2019, there were 319 murder cases. In 2020, there were 468. And last year, there were 488. As you can see, the numbers are trending up year to year. Even when gun violence victims survive, the shooting takes on a terrible toll on their loved ones and the entire community. CBS 2's Andrea Klein Thomas joining us live from Queens, where a woman survived a barrage of bullets at her home. Andrea? All right, that's right, Dana. You know, those statistics only begin to tell the story. Speak to those who are impacted, and they'll tell you in just one moment, everything can change. That was the case for a 72-year-old woman, a mother and grandmother who lives in this home that's now riddled with bullets. She says it could have been much worse. The bullet holes at Pierce Margaret Henry's home are a stark contrast to the seemingly quiet community on 128th Street, where neighbors look out for each other. Look at my window there. You know, it's a lot of wickedness going on. The 72 year old was struck in the arm. She was home alone around 11.30 Monday night when gunshots erupted, not long before she had moved to a different part of her living room. If I was still in that chair, I would be dead right now because the chair is in the gunfire, path of the gunfire. From Queens to bullets in Brooklyn and a mass shooting in Buffalo, the state joins the nation as it grapples with gun violence. No matter the motivation of the person behind the weapon, this is the time we are standing up and saying no more. The mayor of Buffalo hosted elected leaders from across the state to raise a sense of urgency ahead of Gun Violence Awareness Month. Shooting that took place in Buffalo is no different than the shootings that take place on Buffalo Avenue in Brooklyn. Mayor Adams called on a national solution from a crackdown on dangerous social media posts to more funding to take guns off the street and improve mental health resources. It's time to give the resources to our cities and states that will ensure that we can provide the necessary mental health care. Any help came too late for Margaret Henry and nearly 600 shooting victims in the city already this year. I'm very peaceful here. I don't bother nobody. I don't know why they target my house exactly. The NYPD says Ms. Henry was not the intended target, but they have not provided any information about the gunman. But there are a number of cameras on this block, and neighbors say they saw a dark car speeding away. Reporting live in South Ozone Park, Queens, Andrea Klein-Thomas, CBS 2 News. Thank you, Andrea.